primary plus health care. Now, let's go live to the field. Let's take on the Bulldogs of Lawrence County. Greenup County coming off a loss last night, 13-1 and 4. One of those four losses to Greenup County, April 3rd, by a score of 9 to nothing. But that was very, very early in this season. Greenup County comes in with a record of 15 and 14. We'll take a break, come back, set the starting lineups. We'll do that in a couple of moments here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez, quality marathon gasoline, great monthly specials on snacks and beverages, and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops, return. Refresh. Refuel. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the tri-state with used, late-model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late-model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. You thought for a a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland, where your money will be well spent. Off the catcher, Blue Fletcher. Hitting fifth and playing right field, Ethan Witt. Hitting sixth, the shortstop, Will Lafferty. Hitting seventh, the DH, Preston Mason. He'll be hitting for the pitcher, excuse me, hitting for the second baseman, Jacob Fletcher. Uh, hitting in the number eight spot is the pitcher, Jake Deerfield. And hitting in the number nine spot, the center fielder, Nick Collinsworth. Fletcher, Maynard, Collinsworth, Blevins, Witt, Lafferty, Mason, Deerfield, and Nick Collinsworth. On the mound pitching will be Jake Deerfield. For Greenup County, leading off and playing second base will be Bradley Atkins. Hitting second, the center fielder Austin Clarkson. Hitting third, the third baseman Carson Weirman. Hitting fourth, playing left field is Hunter Clevenger. Hitting fifth, the first baseman Brock Kitchen. Hitting sixth behind the plate catching Logan Bays. Hitting seventh, the D.H. Dakota Toole. He'll be hitting for the pitcher. Hitting in the number eight spot, the right fielder, Matthew Boggs. And hitting ninth, the shortstop, Elijah Hankins. Jonah Gibson will be on the mound for Greenup County. It's Atkins, Clarkson, Wireman, Clevenger, Kitchen, Bays, Toole, Boggs, and Hankins with Gibson on the mound. The two umpires going over the ground rules. We'll come back, get you ready for the first pitch. We'll do that in just a couple of moments. You're listening to Greenup County Baseball on the Cool Hit Sports Network. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. 
does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. A home office. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. When you're in a vehicle accident, Monroe's Collision wants you to know you do have a choice where you take it. Monroe Collision's technicians will repair your vehicle back to factory specifications using the highest quality parts, materials, and equipment, and they take pride in restoring your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Choose Monroe Collision, where they handle all aspects of your claim. Stop by their convenient locations, Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, and Ashland. Monroe's Frame and Collision, our work says it all. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vanceburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg, offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. And there you have our national anthem. We're going to have to adjust our camera a little bit. We had it on a tent, but it's not going to stay there. The wind's not going to let it, so we'll make some adjustments and get you the best we can get you. That's better than nothing for right now. We'll try to adjust it as we go on the fly. But we are down the stairs trying to get a higher level with the camera up on the tent. But it's not going to stay. The wind's going to blow it off. We'll see if we can get at least through the netting. So just bear with us. County in the top half of the first inning. The second baseman, number 23, Bradley Atkins. Well, we apologize. We'll get the video going here in just a second. Bradley Atkins is going to lead things off. And the first pitch is swung on, grounded to the third baseman who has it. Long throw. There's one away. That'll bring up Austin Clarkson. Coming to the plate, the center fielder, number two, Austin Clarkson. Clarkson steps up to the plate with one out, nobody on. Carson Weirman on deck. Pitch. 
pitch. Called strike one and one. Beautiful day here in Louisa, Kentucky. Partly sunny skies, 83 degrees. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. He'll throw it over the first, and there's two down. For Lawrence County, Bryce Blevins is at first base. Jacob Fletcher at second base. Will Lafferty, the shortstop. Braden uh, at third base. We'll set the rest of the defense for you here in a second. As Carson Wireman steps up and looks at ball one. Jake Deerfield on the mound for Lawrence County, right-hander. And the pitch misses outside. Two and oh. 2-0 pitch, swung on, popped up. Back behind the plate, 2-1. and one. Deerfield looks in, has a sign, here's the pitch, that's a strike. 2-2. Two and two. Two down, nobody on. Two and two to count to Wireman. Here's the pitch line down the left field line foul. 300 down the left field line and right field lines. 330 to the power alleys. And then a deep center field at 365. I should say 350 to the power alley and left. It's a little bit different. A little longer in left field than it is in right field. Again, the 2-2 pitch misses outside. Three and two. Little bit smaller ballpark than Greenup County. Greenup County's 310 down the lines. Coming to the plate, the left fielder, number That'll bring up Hunter Clevenger. Hunter Clevenger. With Wireman on down to first and two down. First pitch is upstairs, ball one. Pitch upstairs, ball two. So Deerfield got Atkins to ground out to third and Clarkson to ground back out to him. Walked Wireman, gone two and oh. Both of them upstairs to Clevenger. Throw over to first. Wireman dives back in safely. Again, Wireman a good lead. Here's the pitch. It's low 3-0. Brock Kitchen waiting on deck if Clevenger can get aboard. Pitch. Strike called. Three and one. Deerfield checks Wireman. Comes set. 3-1 pitch. Swung on line down the left field line foul. Not a whole lot behind home plate, but you could get home on a pass ball for sure. Unlike Paintsville, where you, you can't. No way. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball to third. Third baseman has it. Throw. Got him. One hopped it, but first baseman stayed with it. So Greenup County here in the first inning comes up with no runs, no hits. No Lawrence County errors and one left on base. We go to the bottom half of inning number one. It is Greenup County nothing.
and Lawrence County coming to bat on the Cool Hit Sports Network. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg, KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Back here at Lawrence County High School in Louisa, Kentucky on a beautiful Wednesday evening for baseball. Let's set Greenham County for you defensively down at first base, Brock Kitchen at second base, Bradley Atkins. Elijah Hankins is playing short tonight at third base, Carson Wireman. Out in left field, Hunter Clevenger in center field, Austin Clarkson. In right field, Matthew Boggs. Hunter Bays is behind the plate catching, and Joni Gibson, right-hander, is on the mound pitching. Too many times you see the catcher as a leadoff hitter, but these two teams both have a catcher that leads off sometimes. When Atkins is catching, he leads off sometimes. So Blue Fletcher. Still haven't found out if that is his real given name or a nickname. Gibson ready. Checks Bays for the sign and the first pitch. Orange County has won three in a row coming into this ball game. Swung on, fly ball, right field towards the line, long run, and getting there and making a nice catch in foul territory. Out in right field is Matthew Boggs, and there's one down. That'll bring up the left fielder, Braden Maynard. I noticed the pregame music and the walk-up music is pretty loud. When they played the National Anthem, you could barely hear it. I don't, I don't, don't get that. Must have been using a different device. First pitch misses outside. Gibson ready, and the 1-0 pitch is a ground ball hit to second. Second baseman, nice backhand, and a throw, and there's two down. Good job by Atkins at second base, going to his right with the backhand. Two down. Coming to the plate, the third Brings baseman. Brings up the third baseman, five, Abner, Collinsworth. Abner Collinsworth, right-handed hitter. Two down, nobody on for Lawrence County here in the bottom half of the first inning. Gibson ready in the first pitch. Strike call. Change up. Oh, one pitch way upstairs. Tried to come back with basically the same pitch, and that one got away from him. One and one. Outfield pretty much straight away for Collinsworth. Lawrence County, of course, one of the favorites to compete for the 15th region title. Here's a ball that's just a little bit high. But got some company with Paintsville Johnson Central. Two one pitch. Misses outside three and one. Huh? 
Dugouts are fairly close to home plate here at Lawrence County. But they're set offset back. 3-1 pitch is upstairs. That brings up the first baseman, Bryce Blevins. Did not play the first time these two teams met. Gibson checks him, comes set. Runner going, here's the pitch, hit and run. Hit into the gap, and that's going to be for extra bases. That's probably going to score a run. Here comes the throw to second. It won't be in time, and a run comes in. Hit and run was on, and Blevins gets a RBI double to right center field. Now batting the right fielder, number nine, Ethan Witt. One nothing. Lawrence County takes the lead, and it brings up the right fielder, Ethan Witt. With a runner in scoring position down at second base. Gibson ready, checks the runner back at second, comes to the plate, high, ball one. One to no to Witt. Levin's down at second base. One-oh pitch, swing and a miss. Nice pitch. So it dropped. As it came towards the plate. Batter swinging over top of it. One and one. Pickoff play back at second base, runner back. Got a seventh grader at second base. You got a eighth grader at shortstop. Pitch swung on, ground ball foul down the third baseline. Now it should be one and two. Uh, the scoreboard's wrong, I think. Yep, one ball, two strikes. Pitch upstairs, two and two. Little bit of a breeze blowing, but not much. If you look at the flag out in center field, hardly moving. Gibson looks in, Blevins takes a lead down at second. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way to Whit, way upstairs. Three and two. Three balls and two stack. Payoff pitch upstairs. He's missed upstairs with a lot of pitches. Second walk. Shortstop, number 11, Will Lafferty. Walks will kill you in baseball. Brings up the shortstop, Will Lafferty, with runners at first and second and two down. Gibson all of a sudden can't get the ball down. Squares to bunt, takes that one a little bit high. Outside, one and oh. Pitch, strike called, letter high, one and one.
One ball, one strike, two out, two on, one run in. Bottom of the first, one nothing Lawrence. Runner is going, here's the pitch. It gets away from the catcher. He's in trouble, he's gonna try to score, and he probably will. Yes. Could not find the baseball. By the time Bays got there, the runner was able to come all the way from second base and score. So now a 2-0 ball game on a wild pitch. And a runner at third base. Squares to Bunt, takes it upstairs again. Keeps missing high. Check to see if he went for it. Got the bat back. Three-one pitch. He walked another one. Three walks in the inning. Coming to the plate, the designated hitter. And everything is high. Mason Preston. Runners at first and third with two down. Two runs already in. And it brings up the designated hitter, Preston Mason, who's hitting for the second baseman. No movement from the Greenup County dugout as far as coming out to talk. First pitch is a called strike. Oh, one one to Mason. Throw over to first, runner back. Strike called, good pitch. 0-2, got that one down. Waste tie over the outside part of the plate. Ahead 0-2 to Mason. Runner at first going. Got to watch the runner at third. And the runner is going to score. That counts. Got the runner, but they allow the runner to come in, getting the out, and it counts. After one, Lawrence County three, Greenock County zero. So three runs for Lawrence County on only one hit. And there were no errors. And nobody left on base. We go to the top of the second inning. It is Lawrence County 3, Greenup County nothing on the Cool Hit Sports Network. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, then you're looking for Stultz Pharmacy. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery and drive through service for prescriptions. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Top of the second inning here at Lawrence County, and Lawrence County up 3 0 as they get three runs with only one hit. Leading off for Had a double, top half of the second inning. three walks, wild pitch. First baseman, number seven, Brock Kitchen. Brock Kitchen will lead things off for the Musketeers. Brock hitting 431 on the year.
First pitch is in the dirt, ball one. Deerfield ready and 1-0 pitch, a swung on, ground ball hit the first. First baseman has it, will make the play unassisted. One away. Now batting, the catcher, number 14, Logan Bays. Four outs, all of them hit on the ground in the infield. Brings up Logan Bays. Bays hitting 256 on the year. First pitch is a swing and a miss. Pitch is hit short right field. Right fielder calling the second baseman off and makes the catch. And it's two down. Coming to the plate, the designated hitter, number 54, Dakota Tool. Brings up the DH, Dakota Tool. Tool hitting 176 on the season. First pitch called strike. Going one. Misses outside. One and one. One one pitch on the way, upstairs, two and one. Two down, nobody on here in the top of the second for Greenup County. Count two and oh, or two and one, excuse me, to Dakota Tool, and here's a fly ball to right field. Right fielder backs up a couple of steps, makes the catch, and will end the inning. For Greenup County in the second, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on the base. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It's Lawrence County 3, Greenup County nothing on the Cool Hits Sports Network. When you shop and invest locally, you put in motion a sequence of actions which multiplies the money that is available in our area to create jobs and provide emergency services, police, and fire protection, as well as improving the quality of education in our local schools. Shop and invest locally whenever you can. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Bottom of the second inning for Lawrence County. It'll be seven, eight, and nine. Preston Mason, who was at the plate when they got the guy on the run down at second, allowing the runner to score from third. So he'll lead things off. Followed by the pitcher Deerfield and the center fielder Nick Collinsworth. Gibson finishes up his warm-up tosses. Mason. Mason, Preston. Mason Preston comes back up. <laughs> and the first pitch is popped up. Third base side, Wireman in foul territory. Makes the catch. One out. Pitcher, number two, Jake Deerfield. Brings up the pitcher, Jake Deerfield. Right-handed hitter. 
One out, nobody on here in the bottom half of the second inning. First pitch misses, ball one. Pitch upstairs, ball two. There's a strike, two and one. Deerfield taking all the way. Two one pitch upstairs, three and one. Swung on, fouled off to the right, now to play. Count three and two. Gibson looks in, has the sign from Bays, and the payoff pitch is swung on and popped up to the infield. Hankins, the shortstop, calls for it, makes the catch, two down. That'll bring up the center fielder, Nick Collinsworth. Nick Collinsworth. Two down, nobody on. Gibson ready, and the first pitch is swung on. Ground ball hit the first. First baseman has it. Kitchen will make the play unassisted. Now, one, two, three inning. For Lawrence County in the second, no runs, no hits, no Greenup County errors, and nobody left on base. We go to the top of the third. It's Lawrence County three, Greenup County nothing on the Cool Hit Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Back here at Lawrence County High School, Louisa, Kentucky, we go to the top of the third inning. 3 0 Lawrence County. For Greenup County. Greenham County will take tomorrow night and Friday night off and then head to Rowland County Saturday for a doubleheader. Rowland County at 11, Hazard at 1.30. We'll be on the air around 10.45 with the pregame show, the first one, somewhere around 1.15, 1.30 for the second one. First pitch to Matthew Boggs is a called strike. After this week, only one week of the regular season left. Pitch swing and a foul at the plate. 0-2. After Saturday, Rowan County will be at home Monday. We'll tell you about that in a moment. Right back here next Tuesday. And then next Thursday, a week from tomorrow, at East Carter, a swing and a miss as Boggs goes down swinging for the first strikeout of the ball game for Deerfield. Number 11, Elijah Hankins. That'll bring up Elijah Hankins. Hankins hitting 217. Monday night, Paintsville comes to town. Six o'clock start, it's gonna be cool hits night. All of the on-air personalities. MJ McKay, Professor and Stephanie, Ernie G. Anderson, 
will all be present in the press box with yours truly. I'm going to have them do, each of them do a half inning with me. And we'll have some prizes to give away to the people who are there in the stands. Here's a called strike, first pitch missed. That one's a called strike on the inside part of the plate, one and one to Hankins. So we're looking forward to having a good time with Cool Hits Night, Monday the 24th against Paintsville. Here's a fly ball out of play off to the right. So to count one and two. Bradley Atkins, the second baseman, top of the order on deck. Pitch is low and away, two and two. Deerfield ready, pitch, hit, center field. Center fielder coming in, makes the catch, two down. Now batting, second baseman, number 23, Bradley Atkins. Bring up Bradley Atkins, grounded out to third in the first inning, 0 for 1. Atkins coming in to tonight's game, hitting 313. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, and one to count to Atkins. Pitch, strike two called. Letter high on the outside part of the plate. Now Atkins has to protect the plate, 0 oh and two. In the dirt, one and two. One, two pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out. One, two, three inning, second strikeout of the ball game for Greenham County in the third. No runs, no hits, no Lawrence County errors, and nobody left on the base. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It is still Lawrence County 3, Greenup County nothing on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Stop by any of the four convenient locations in Monroe Collision for an insurance estimate after an accident and let them explain how you can get back into your vehicle sooner. Owner Kevin Monroe will discuss your options in their state-of-the-art facilities. Monroe's repairs are backed by a lifetime warranty. You'll drive away protected and happy. Ask about their free loaner car. For the best in repair, see the people who care in Portsmouth, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. Monroe's frame and collision. With 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and Sundays 1 to 4. Located at 1601 U.S. Route 60, just 10 miles west of Ashland. Call 606-928-5000. 308. Back here at Lawrence County High School, we go to the bottom of the third inning. For Lawrence County, it'll be the top of the order. Fletcher, Maynard, and Collinsworth to face Jonah Gibson. It was only given up one hit, but three walks and three runs. Lawrence County, the bottom half of third inning. The catcher, number 13, Blue Fletcher. Fletcher flew out to right field in the first inning. 0 for 1. First pitch from Gibson is low and outside, ball one. One-0 pitch, swung on, grounded foul down the third baseline. Count 
not one and one. One one pitch. Strike called. Good pitch outside part of the plate. One and two. Gibson looks in, has a sign, winds, and a 1 2 pitch. He has swung on and lined into right field for a base hit. Second hit of the ball game for Lawrence County, and the leadoff man Number on plate, base here in the third. Field. Number 12, Braden Maynard. That'll bring up Braden Maynard. Grounded out to second in the first inning, 0 for 1. First pitch, swung on, fly ball, right field, foul territory. Not going to get there for this one. Long way to run. They'll wait for Boggs to get back in position. Fletcher takes a lead at first. Gibson checks in. He'll come to the plate, swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Again, Fletcher takes his lead, and the pitch is high. Here's a throw down the first, not in time. It's close. One ball, two strikes to Maynard. Again, Fletcher takes a lead. Throw over, he's back easily. Again, good lead, first base. Here's the pitch upstairs, they'll throw down again. And they got him. I mean, they, he's safe, but it looked to me like they almost got him. Umpire was a little hesitant in his call, too. So trying to keep Fletcher close at first base. He's going, here's the pitch. It's strike three called, here's the throw, and they got him. Good, good throw down by base. And a double play on the strikeout caught stealing. First strikeout of the ball game. And two down and brings up the third baseman, Abner Collinsworth, who walked and scored in the first inning. Steps up with two down, nobody on. First pitch called strike. Working the outside part of the plate on that one. Collinsworth steps out, steps back in. Gibson has the sign, and the 0-1 pitch is swung on, fly ball center field. Clarkson going back and has room and makes the catch for out number three. And after three complete innings. For Lawrence County in the third, no runs on one hit, no errors, and nobody left on the base. We've completed three, and your score is Lawrence County three, Greenup County nothing. 
on the Cool Hit Sports Network. You've thought for a long time about keeping your firearms and valuables safe and out of harm's way. Order Sporting Goods has the area's greatest selection of Liberty safes and a wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And Borders also has the Tri-State's best and most complete selection of firearms, hunting supplies, fishing supplies, archery supplies, knives, camo, and boots. From the smallest fishing hook to the largest Liberty safe, the best brands, the best selection, and the best prices in the Tri-State are at Borders Sporting Goods. Route 60 West in Ashland where your money will be well spent. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, our core difference is providing you peace of mind and confidence in your financial life. By asking the right questions and working with you, we earn your business. Together, we're building financial success one special moment at a time. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Chops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Chop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Chops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Chops. Return. Refresh. Number two. Clarkson. Welcome back here to Louisa, Kentucky, Lawrence County. As we go to the top of the fourth inning, it'll be Clarkson, Wireman, and Clevenger due up to face Deerfield. Clarkson grounded back to the pitcher. His first time up, 0 for 1. First pitch is a called strike at the knees, outside part of the plate to the left-handed batting Clarkson. Swung on, ground ball hit to second. Second baseman has it, throws in time, one away. That'll bring up Carson Wireman who walked in the first half. Now batting the third baseman, number three, Carson Wireman. Wireman trying to get something started for Greenup County against Jake Deerfield, who has walked one, struck out two, and has not given up a hit yet. This one bounces to the plate. Ball one. Pitch is low, 2-0. and oh. Clevenger on deck. Nobody on, one out. 3 nothing Lawrence here in the fourth. Pitch is low again, 3-0. Three balls and no strikes to Wireman, and a 3-0 pitch is a called strike right down the heart of the plate, three and one. Wireman now looking for a good pitch here. Pitch, strike two called. Started to go, didn't, took it on the outside part of the plate, now it's full. Deerfield ready, payoff pitch, popped up foul, and now to play. Michael Coffey should have reached up and had that one in the back row. I'm just saying. He's sitting back here, he should have had it. 3-2 pitch, swung on, popped up center field. Center fielder coming in, has a beat on it, makes the catch, and there's two down. Brings up Hunter Clevenger, grounded out to the third baseman in the first inning. 0 for 1. Pitch 
is upstairs, ball one. Deerfield looks in, has a sign, 1-0 pitch, swung on, ground ball. Fair ball down the third base line that's going to get to the corner, but a good job by the left fielder to get it back in in a hurry and a good throw. Clevenger will hang it first with the first hit of the ball game for Greenup County. Single down the left field line. Now batting the first baseman, number Good seven. Good job by Maynard out in the left field Kitchen. to get over there and get that one. Brings up Brock Kitchen. Grounded out to first unassisted. To lead off the second inning, 0 for 1. First pitch that is hit well to center field. Center fielder going back, can't get there, it's over his head. That should score a run. That's going to go all the way to the fence. Kitchen will be at second with a stand-up double. And it makes it a 3-1 ball game, and that ball hit well. So an RBI double to right center field brings home Clevenger. And brings up Logan Bays, who popped up to the second baseman in the second inning, 0 for 1, but a chance to get another run in here. Catcher, number 14. Logan, With Kitchen in scoring position down at second base. And two down. Deerfield looks in, has a sign. And the pitch is in the dirt. Good job by the catcher to keep that one in front of him. Kitchen has to hold down at second base. Bay steps back in. Deerfield looks in for the sign. Kitchen takes his lead at second. Pitch, swing and a miss. One and one. Swung on, grounds. We go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. It's Lawrence County 3, Greenup County 1 on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Shops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Chops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care. 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations, and they carry a nice selection of gift items. Stop by Stultz Pharmacy today in Greenup and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Bottom of the fourth inning, 3-1, Lawrence County with the lead. All three of their runs came in the first. Greenup County's run came in the top of this inning. Four, five, and six do up for Lawrence County. Bryce Blevins, Ethan Witt, and Will Lafferty. To face Jonah Gibson, who after giving up three walks and a hit in the first inning has really settled down. One, two, three inning in the second. Gave up a single in the third, but got a runner got caught stealing and got the other two. It's only three batters in that third inning. Bryce Blevins had an RBI double and scored in the first inning. And Gibson's first pitch is in the dirt, ball one. Pitch. 
Pitch stays a little bit upstairs, 2-0. pitch. That's right, call it good pitch. Down around just above the knees, outside part of the plate. Two one pitch, swing and a miss at one upstairs at his eyes, but he went swinging. Two and two. Gibbs it ready, 2-2 pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, struck him out on a breaking ball. Strikeout number two in the ball game for Gibson. Brings up Ethan Witt, the right fielder, walked and scored in the first inning. Pitch upstairs, ball one. One oh pitch. Be ready. Swing and a miss. One and one. Gibson ready, has the sign, 1-1 one, one pitch, strike two call, good pitch. One and two. One, two delivery, swung on, popped up, foul, and out of play. Count stays one and two. Shortstop Lafferty waiting on deck. Know what they're waiting on. Everybody's just standing around looking. Finally, Witt steps back in. Everybody was just looking. One, two pitch, swung on, fly ball again, right side out of play. Count stays one and two. One, two pitch, swung on. Popped up, right field. Boggs coming in, will make the catch, two down. Coming to the plate, the shortstop, number 11, Will Lafferty. That'll bring up Will Lafferty, walked in the first inning and then got in the rundown between first and second for the final out, but allowed the third run to score. Gibson ready, and the first pitch upstairs, ball one. Thought about going after it. Here's a ball hit past the shortstop into left field for a base hit. That was a smash. Coming to the plate, the designated hitter, number 10, Mason Preston. Hit number three in the ball game for Lawrence County. It brings up the DH Mason Preston who popped up to third baseman. Back in the second inning. First pitch swing and a miss. 0-1. A 
A one pitch. Strike two call, good pitch on the outside part of the plate just above the knees. Quickly ahead of Preston 0 and 2. Two down, runner at first base. Gibson checks the runner. He'll come to the plate upstairs. Bays fakes a throw down and throws it over Gibson's head, but good back up there by Hankins. One ball, two strikes. Again, checks the runner at first. And he's going. They got him in a rundown. And they didn't get him. Threw the ball back to Brock Kitchen at first base, and he bobbled it. And when he got it back, he didn't know where to throw it. There was like two or three people there. So that'll go as a stolen base and put a runner in scoring position. Had him in a rundown. Should have got him. Now I got to get the batter. One and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and he tags him out. Third strike out of the ball game. Good job by Gibson there to get the batter. So for Lawrence County in the fourth, no runs, one hit. No errors and one left on base. We've completed four. It's Lawrence County three, Greenup County one on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Experience the plus side of healthcare at Primary Plus. Primary Plus has seven locations throughout the region, including offices in Ashland, South Shore, Vanceburg, Tolesboro, and Flemingsburg, offering complete care for the entire family, including primary care, pediatrics, women's health, dental, and on-site pharmacies, plus the convenience of evening hours, affordable pricing, and a patient-centered medical team. Primary Plus is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Back here at Lawrence County High School, Louisa, Kentucky, we go to the fifth inning. A very fast-moving game right now. And for Greenup County here in the fifth, 7-8-9. The DH, Dakota, Dakota Tool, who flew out to right field in the second inning, 0 for 1. Greenup County has two hits. Lawrence County has three, but Lawrence County has three runs. First pitch fouled back to the netting. If you're watching, you can see the netting moving. Freak you out. <laughs> yeah. A one pitch, strike two called, thought about it, held up. Now behind 0-2. Deerfield has struck out two, he's walked one. And the pitch is a high chopper back to the pitcher, has it, throws one out. That'll bring up Matthew Boggs, a strikeout victim in the third inning, 0 for 1. Now batting, right fielder, number 31, Matthew Balls. Back a few steps, makes the catch, two down. That'll bring up the shortstop, Elijah Hankins. Comes to the plate, the shortstop, number 11, Elijah Hankins. He flew out to center field on the third inning, 0 for 1. First pitch called strike. Top of the order on deck if Hankins can get aboard. Swung on and he does with a base hit. 
into left field. Thank you, buddy. Single left field, hit number three. And it brings up Bradley Atkins, who has grounded out to third and struck out. And Atkins steps in with Hankins down at first. And the first pitch is popped up right side, foul territory, nobody going to get there. Oh, and one to Atkins. Hankins on down to first with two down. Top of the fifth inning, 3-1 Lawrence. Good throw by the catcher, and that'll take Greenham County out of the inning. In the fifth inning, no runs on one hit. No errors, nobody left on the base. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's still Lawrence County three, Greenup County one on the Cool Hit Sports Network. A lot of folks are paying their bills online. It's safe, accurate, and very convenient. If you would like to know more about banking online, stop by the bank and we can get you going. Cutting edge technology with a first name, friendly hometown personal touch. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center, very good things are happening here. Back here in Louisa at Lawrence County, we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and for Lawrence County, it'll be 8-9-1 to face Jonah Gibson. Bulldogs leading 3-1. Deerfield, the, the pitcher, the bottom half of the fifth inning. The pitcher, popped up to shortstop. Jake. In the second inning. 0 for 1. Each team with three hits. But Lawrence County with those three runs. It's only one for Greenup County. First pitch outside, ball one. One zero -oh pitch, strike called one and one. Gibson ready with the 1-1 one -one delivery upstairs, 2-1. Again, Greenup County will take tomorrow and Friday off. Back at it Saturday, doubleheader at Rowan County. Rowan County at 11, Hazard at 130. Pitch swung on, fouled off to the right and out of play. 2-2. Two two. Both games here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Pre-game starting around 1045. Saturday morning from Don Harden Field. City Park in Moorhead, Kentucky. 2-2 pitch, swung on, ground ball to third. Wireman has it, long throw, got him, one away. That'll bring up the center fielder, Nick Collinsworth. Grounded out to first unassisted in the second inning, 0 for 1.
District tournament will be played at Raceland High School on Memorial Day. Raceland will play Lewis County at 11. Greenup will play Russell at 1.30 or thereabouts. First pitch swung on, grounded to third, backhanded by Weirman, and it goes into left field. Uh, gotta be, it's got to be an error. E5. Coming to the plate, the catcher, Let's number go. 13, Blue Fletcher. That'll put a runner at first base and bring up the top of the order, Blue Fletcher. One for two, flew out to right, single to right. Got caught stealing. One out, one on. As I said, Lewis and Russell at 11, Greenup and Russell at 130, championship game at seven that night. All three games at Raceland on Memorial Day. First pitch, strike call, a little, maybe a little bit high with that one. We'll take it. Regional tournament will be played at Ashland. It will start on Saturday, June 5th with four games and then throw over. Runner dives back in. Semifinals on Monday, June 7th. Championship game Tuesday, June 8th. Pitch swung on, popped up, foul. Pitcher, nope, it's in fair territory. Pitcher calls for it, Gibson. Looks up in the sun and is able to get it. Left fielder, number 12, Two down. Braden Maynard. Where they looked, it looked like it was coming back this way, but sky high right in front of the plate. Gibson calls everybody off and he makes the catch. That'll bring up Braden Maynard, the left fielder, grounded out to second and struck out 0 for 2. Two down runner at first. First pitch is high and outside, gets away from Bays, and the runner will go down to second. So a runner in scoring position with two down. Regional draw, by the way, will be Wednesday, June 2nd. Throw back and the runner back. Winner of the 16th region will play the winner of the 13th region on June 12th, Saturday, June 12th at Moorhead State University. Winner of the 15th will play the winner of the 14th, I believe. Here's a pitch that's just a little bit upstairs, 2-0. Both of those games at Moorhead State University. Eight games that day around the state of Kentucky. And here's a ground ball, hits a second. And second baseman misses it, and that's going to allow the run to score. Second error of the inning, and errors will kill you. Now batting the third baseman, number five, Abner Collinsworth. So now it's a 4-1 ball game. And if you, if you look at this game, it's what we say about baseball all the time. Three runs in the first inning, probably should have got one with a double that knocked in the first walk. But it was a walk that put a man on base. Three walks, they got three runs. A run in this inning with two errors. Errors and walks kill you. You cannot give up free bases. Pitch swung on, grounded to third. Wireman has it, long throw. Did he get him? Yes. Good stretch by Kitchen, held on to it. And Collinsworth is out 5-3, but not before Lawrence County gets a run on no hits. Greenup County committed two errors, one left on base. We go to the sixth inning. It is Lawrence County 4, Greenup County 1 on the Cool Hits Sports Network. 
Oh no, when that happens, bring your vehicle to Monroe Collision. We're directly to get you back into your vehicle much sooner. Kevin makes it easy to do because he cares about you and will get you back on the road happy and with a lifetime warranty. Stop by their convenient locations, Sportsman, Jackson, Chillicothe, or Ashland. With 48,000 square feet of showroom, Manning Furniture is filled with unbelievable savings with sofas as low as $299 and up. Shop from home. Go online to manningfurnitureky.com. Look under brands. Call Manning for pricing. Place special orders through Manning and get 10% off. Voted best store to buy furniture. Manning Furniture is open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and Sundays 1 to 4. Located at 1601 U.S. Route 60, just 10 miles west of Ashland. Call 606-928-53. 308. We go through the top of the sixth inning. 4 1, Lawrence County through five. Lawrence County, four runs on three hits, no errors, two left on base. Greenup County, one run on three hits, two errors, and two left on base. And the top of the order for Greenup County in the six. It'll be Atkins who has grounded out the third and struck out to lead things off. And he looks at ball one in the dirt. So the region, June 5th, and then the 7th and 8th. First round of the state tournament, they call sectionals in the dirt again, 2-0. June the 12th at Moorhead State University. There'll be eight games played around the state that day, and then the eight winners will move on to Whitaker Bank Ballpark for the quarterfinals, semifinals, and championship of the state tournament. 2-0, outside 3-0. Did he call that a strike? A little late sometimes with his call. Okay, two and one. Yep, strike two called. Coach Logan wanting to talk to Atkins, but the real reason is he is upset with the call. But you can't really say anything to the umpire, so. So two and two to Bradley Atkins. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. Strikes out for the second time in the ball game. Third strikeout Coming for Deerfield. Fielder, two, Austin Clarkson. Brings up Austin Clarkson. He has grounded out to the pitcher, grounded out to second. Need to get something started right here in the sixth inning. You've got Clarkson, Wyman, and Clevenger kitchen due up. Got to do some damage here. First pitch is popped up, foul out of play. Of course, you can hear all three games Memorial Day of the 63rd District Tournament on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network. My Town will be there for all three of those. Here's a swing and a miss, strike two. Here are all the, game, all the games of the regional tournament on the Cool Hits My Town TV Sports Network, except for the Ashland game. We'll have it on the Cool Hits Facebook page. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, catcher dropped it, gonna have to throw down, does. And Clarkson goes down for strikeout number four for Deerfield and two down and a six. Third baseman, number three, Carson Wireman. Brings up Carson Wireman. Wireman has walked and flown out to center field 0 for 1. During the boys regional tournament, we'll also have live updates of the girls softball tournament. That's being played at Fleming County this year. 61st District. Swung on and lined into left field for a base hit. Left fielder will get it in as Wireman takes the turn at first and heads back. Hit number four in the ball game. Now batting, left fielder number 25, Hunter Clevenger. Brings up Hunter Clevenger. He has grounded out to third, singled and scored. Greenup County's only run. On the RBI double by Kitchen. 
So two down. Weirman on down at first. And the pitch takes his lead at first base. Throw over, he's back. Pitch to Clevenger, swung on, line to left field, left fielder, dropped it. So that's going to make everybody safe. He had it for a moment as he reached down to try and grab it, and he dropped it, did not hold it long enough. And that'll be a base. Man, I don't know. Probably got to be an error. It, it was dying on him, but he got his glove all over it, so we'll call it E7. And. So Greenup County with two down here in the sixth has two on. I thought there for a minute he was coming up, was going to try to make a stab at that, and he was going to miss it. It was going to go under him. But he, he actually had his meeting breaks up. And Brock Kitchen steps up. He has grounded out the first unassisted and had an RBI double to right center field. On and two out here in the sixth. Pitch in the dirt. Good job by the catcher. Keep it in front of him. 1 0 to Kitchen. Hey. 1 0 pitch. Swung on, grounded to first. First baseman has it, makes the play. And that'll end the inning. Greenup County gets a couple on the four. Greenup County won on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Hello, I'm Michael Bowling, Senior Vice President of Kentucky Farmers Bank. When you do business with Kentucky Farmers Bank, you're making an investment in your community. Your money stays local, we never sell your loan, and in turn, we invest in local families, churches, schools, and charities. We believe in our community, and that's why we are the better bank for loans. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for loans since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Quality Marathon Gasoline. Great monthly specials on snacks and beverages and fantastic service. Those are the qualities of Clark's Pump and Chops. You'll find a Clark's Pump and Shop near you in the Bluegrass State and beyond. And Rick and Brent Clark want you to know that they take pride in giving you the best prices and service, and they thank you for your patronage. Clark's Pump and Shops are a division of the John W. Clark Oil Company. Clark's Pump and Shops. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Back here in Louisa, Kentucky at Lawrence County High School, we go to the fifth inning on two airs. Greenup County's one run came in the fourth inning. On back-to-back -back hits, a single and a double. And had their best chance probably there in the sixth. Two outs, got a single and an error, and had runners at first and second, couldn't get them in. So Big now for Lawrence County in the bottom half of the sixth inning. The first key is number eight, you gotta, you gotta hold them here and come up and try to have a big seventh inning. Bryce Blevins, RBI double to right center field and scored, and he struck out. One for two. First pitch, upstairs, ball one. Pitch misses inside, 2-0. Oh. And here's a pop-up right side, kitchen, foul territory. Has it, one away. Coming to the plate, the right fielder, number nine, Ethan Witt. Brings up Ethan Witt. 
Walked and scored in the first, flew out to right field in the fourth. 0 for 1 officially. Doubleheader Saturday, supposed to be partly sunny and cloudy. Here's a ground ball hit to the hole at short, knocked down, long throw, not going to get him. Ah, oh, it's an infield hit, I think. He had to go to the hole. Now batting the shortstop, number 11, Will Lafferty. Knocked it down. Good job by Hankins to knock it down, but didn't have enough time to get him. So a runner at first base with one out brings up Will Lafferty, who has walked and singled over for, uh, one for one officially. Times of clouds and sun Saturday with a high of 88 for that doubleheader in Moorhead. Nice baseball weather. Squares to bunt, bunts it out in front of the plate. Pitcher has it, only one place to go. And he's, they didn't get him. A little slow getting out there. Hitter, number 10, Mason Preston. And you gotta throw it a little bit harder. So that will go as a bunt single. So now you got runners at first and second, and Lawrence County trying to get an insurance run or two here, up 4-1. And the bottom of the six, one out. And it brings up Mason Preston. The DH popped up the third and struck out. Gibson trying to get out of this inning with no damage. First pitch, fly ball, left field. Clevenger going back, has room, makes the catch, and will get it back in as the runners head back. Two down. Ball was hit pretty well. Coming to the plate, the pitcher, number two, Jake Deerfield. That'll bring up the pitcher, Jake Deerfield, who has popped up to the shortstop and grounded out to third. Two down, runners at first and second. Bottom of the sixth inning, 4-1 Lawrence. Gibson steps off as Deerfield steps out. Squares to bunt, bunts it foul. Trying to bunt himself on in that situation with two down. No balls and one strike. Gibson looks in, has a sign come set, checks the runner back at second. 0-1 pitch, strike two called. If you're looking ahead to the seventh for Greenup County, Bays, Tool, and Boggs do up. Six, seven, eight. Oh, and two to count. Oh, just missed. Good pitch on the outside. One and two. Gibson looks in, has the sign, comes set. Runners take their lead, throw back to second, and they throw it into center field, and the runner will hold it third. as the runner moves over. As soon as they turned to throw it, he was headed to third. If you catch that ball, you got a chance to get him at third because he took off as soon as he turned to throw it, but it was not a good throw. Need to worry about the batter. You got two outs and you don't want to give up another run. Now you've put a runner in scoring position with a pass ball or a wild pitch. And they'll try that again. 
and they tag him this time and get the final out. Well, they tried the same play, but the guy third decided he wasn't going. So, runner is caught stealing. Get out of the inning. No runs on one hit, two hits, excuse me. No errors and one left on base. So we've completed six. We go to the seventh. Lawrence County with a 4-1 lead over Greenup County here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. What are the keys to better health care? At SOMC, we start by putting it right at your fingertips. Now you can have a virtual visit with your SOMC provider right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Through six innings, Lawrence County four runs on five hits, one error, three left on base. Greenham County one run on four hits, two errors, and four left on the base. It'll be Logan Bays. Dakota Tool and Matthew Boggs do up here in the seventh. And Greenham County needs three to send it to the bottom of the seventh. Bays has popped up to second and grounded out to third. And the first pitch is a high chopper to the shortstop. Long throw, and he pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. That'll be an error. Didn't, he had to go to the hole a little bit, but he had plenty of time. That brings up to Dakota Tool. Tool has flown out to right field and grounded out to the pitcher. 0 for 2. Bays takes his lead at first as Greenup County gets the leadoff runner uh, hitter on, on base here in the seventh. First pitch is a swing and a miss. Healthy cut by Tool. Deerfield ready in the pit, swung on, fly ball into left center field, and the left fielder comes over and makes the catch. And Bays has to head back, head back to first. That was hit well into the gap, but a great job by the left fielder for Lawrence County. Roaming over there, Maynard is able to track it down. One away. Brings up Matthew Boggs, who has struck out, flown out to center field, 0 for 2. First pitch swung on, and that's going to be a base hit into center field. Bays will head to second. And that is hit number five for Greenup County. Coming to the plate, the shortstop, number 11, Elijah Hankins. So Hankins will step up. He has flown out to center field and singled the left center field. Then got caught stealing. Two on, one out. Pitch, strike called. Mm. That ball sort of dropped out of nowhere. I think he missed that one. He's been really pretty good, pretty consistent, but I think he missed that one. <laughs> A one pitch is upstairs, one and one. Top of the order, Atkins on deck. One out. Runners at first and second. 4-1. Etch. Two down. Cohen Underwood is going to come in and bat. 
for Atkins. He must have went in the top of the inning. Number four. Cohen, Underwood. So Underwood steps up to the plate with two down and two on here in the top of the seventh. Green up down by three. Deerfield, pitch in the dirt. Catcher keeps it in front of him. Underwood hitting 298 on the year. Clarkson on deck if Underwood can get aboard. Pitch inside, 2-0. Deerfield comes set, 2-0 pitch. Right, called two and one. Again, Deerfield comes set. And the two one pitch is low, gets away from the catcher. Runners will move on. So to count three and one. And two runners in scoring position. Base hit could bring two in and make it very interesting here in the seventh. Three and one to count. Deerfield ready. And the pitch swung on, foul. Runners at second and third take their lead, two outs. And the pitch swung on high, chopper towards short. Third baseman comes over, makes the play. Great play by the third baseman. Over at third base, Abner Collinsworth makes a good play, coming over to grab that before it got to the shortstop. Makes a strong throw to first to get the out. Greenup County in the seventh, no runs on one hit. And there was one Lawrence County air and two left on base. Your final score, 4-1. Lawrence County back with your final numbers. Right through your personal online patient portal. And with our convenient app, you can use your tablet or your smartphone to have a virtual visit safely just about anywhere. Ask your SOMC provider whether a virtual visit is right for you. Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. Tres Hermanos Nunez has such a wide variety of authentic Mexican menu items. Appetizers, nachos, steak, chicken, seafood fajitas, chimichangas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mocajetes, vegetarian choices, a kid's menu, desserts and salads, all at affordable prices. For budget-pleasing, great-tasting Mexican food, Tres Hermanos Nunez is on your way in Ashland, Greenup, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Oliveville, and the newly remodeled interior of the Cannonsburg location, now open. Tres Hermanos Nunez. Since 1956, Sperry Auto Parts has served the Tri-State with used, late model, foreign, and domestic auto parts. Sperry Auto Parts stays in touch with dealers nationwide through their hotline service for parts and late model repairable cars, trucks, and SUVs specializing in Jeep, Chrysler, and GM. Sperry's provides a 30-day warranty on engines and transmissions. They also have a computerized inventory, making for quicker and better service. See the winning team at Sperry Auto Parts, Route 8 in South Portsmouth, Kentucky, across from the Carl Perkins Bridge. Welcome back here to Lawrence County where 
Lawrence County has defeated Greenup County by a final score of four to one. Lawrence County four runs on five hits. They commit two errors, leave three on base. Greenup County one run on five hits. They commit two errors, leave six on base. Lawrence County got three in the first, one in the fifth. Greenup County's lone run came in the fourth inning. Jonah Gibson to go six innings, gives up the four runs, five hits, walked three, struck out three. And Jake Deerfield goes to distance, seven innings, one run, five hits, one walk, three strikeouts. Lawrence County improves to 22 and four on the year at Greenup County's Network. I can't believe the house is ours. Finally, freedom. Today's the day, my own business. These are the moments you'll remember forever when a bank becomes more than a checking account or loan. At People's Bank, 